Hello and welcome to the academyofworship.org YouTube channel. My name's Chris, and once again I want to welcome you to the Guitar 101 or Beginning Guitar series that we're doing. We only have a few of these videos left and I hope you found them educational or at least interesting. This may be useful to some of the old timers or people that are veterans of the guitar, but I'm aiming for people who are getting into the guitar, interested in guitar, one of those types of people. So if that's you, stick around. Today we are talking about knobs and twisty things and all the things that we use down here and take for granted on the guitar that change the tone of the instrument right at the instrument. Now, we've covered a bunch of other stuff and today I'm not gonna be getting into the electronics on a guitar specifically or at least in some in-depth way, but today I will be talking about what these knobs and things like this on a guitar do, why you should care about them and all that stuff. What you're seeing here is another Strat. I've shown you a couple on this channel. This is one of them. Now, usually on a Strat configuration like this guitar, you'll have a volume and two tone knobs. Sometimes you'll have just a volume and just one tone knob. Sometimes you'll have just a volume knob. It depends on the guitar itself, the make, the model, all those things. But in the case of this Strat and my other Strat, you have a volume knob, which does exactly what you think it would do. It turns the guitar up and down. Now keep in mind that a volume knob actually increases and decreases the volume output on this jack. So, and we'll get into this in a different video, you can actually change what your guitar sounds like going into an amplifier. So if you lower the volume knob, it'll actually clean up the guitar, meaning you won't have as much distortion or grit on it in an amplifier. And again, don't worry, we'll talk about it in a later video. And as you turn it up, you're increasing how hard you're hitting an amplifier or whatever you're putting your guitar into. So it's good to know that you can use this for actual tonal options because when you turn things down and clean things up, that's tone. If you turn it up, get lots of gain or whatever you're doing, that too is tone. Now when it comes to Tone knobs, actual tone knobs, they're labeled tone. You're talking usually about a treble knob and a tone knob, or in the case of one tone knob, you'd be talking about something like rolling off highs and making it duller as you go counterclockwise. The further clockwise you go, the more high end is in it. It kind of depends on the guitar configuration and how the tone knobs are set up. In the case of this Strat, you've got control over high end and low end and the tone. In this Strat, you have the same thing. You have a volume knob here, and two tone knobs. And the tone knobs control the high end and the low end of the guitar. So if you plug into a guitar amp or you find that your guitar is a little bit too bright, has too much high end on it, you can roll that off a little bit. If you find that you have way too much bass in certain settings, for instance, if you go to the neck pickup and it gets a little boomy or the low end's a little bit too much, you can roll off some of the lows. So you can really tailor what the guitar sounds like before you ever touch a tone knob on an amplifier. You'll notice on this guitar, I actually only have two knobs. One is a volume knob, one is a tone knob. The further counterclockwise you turn the tone knob, the duller the sound gets, or the more high end you're rolling off of the guitar tone. That can come in handy. These P90 pickups, go watch the other video I did if you wanna hear all about pickups, are a little on the bright side much like the single coils and the other two guitars I just showed you. So I'll roll off the tone knob to almost 50%. Now when it comes to talking about a Les Paul style guitar, we have a little bit different configuration as far as the knobs go. This particular Les Paul style guitar has a tone knob and two volume knobs. The reason it has two volume knobs is because it can independently change volume on each pickup. So for instance, if you want the front pickup here on the neck position, to be a quieter volume, you can actually roll its volume down independently. And when you switch to that pickup using this switch, it will be at that volume. That's one way guitar players get that trick where you flick the switch back and forth and it turns on and off like a stutter. You turn one volume knob all the way down and then flip between the two pickups. This particular guitar, instead of having a second tone knob, which most Les Pauls do, has a coil split switch. It's actually a knob, which is interesting. You can change between these humbuckers being single coils or full humbucker pickups, just twisting this knob. On this guitar, my Gretsch, we've got some knobs at the bottom, right there, three of them. And then right here, we've got another knob. What do they all do? Now, this is a little more specific to Gretsch guitars, and you'll find that if you play a Gretsch, you'll run into this configuration more, but it just goes to show that these knobs, volume and tone and all that stuff come in so many different configurations. So in this case, you've got two volume knobs and a tone knob, as well as a master volume knob. So you can turn your pickups down to different volumes, just like in the Les Paul style, but once you have them set, you can actually turn the whole guitar up and down right here. 
so that you don't have to mess with these if you get like a sound you really like. And then it's got a master tone knob so that the whole guitar can be doled up a bit or bring those highs back in. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of configurations on these volume and tone knobs. That was by no means an extensive walkthrough of every configuration that exists on the planet. In fact, if you go on the internet, just Google around and you'll find that there's a whole bunch of different things. And in fact, they're coming up with more and more ways to use volume and tone knobs or even put them on switches or momentary buttons and things like that so that you can adjust your tone just how you like it. Now, while I said I wasn't getting into electronics specifically, one kind of important thing to note is that when you hear people talking about POTS, they're talking about potentiometers, which is what those are. Now, in essence, a potentiometer is just an adjustment that allows a certain amount of resistance depending on where you have it set. Now, I won't go into details and bore you with all that. You can go look that up for yourself. However, there are two main potentiometers that are used in guitar tone and volume knobs. One is 250k and one is 500k. Now all that has to mean to you is how much high end is allowed into the guitar signal. For instance, I talked about how single coils were pretty bright pickups and so were P90s. So in those guitars, they're gonna use probably the 250K potentiometer, which means it bleeds more of the high end to ground, thus taking it off of your signal that you don't really want. So it takes what potentially could be kind of a piercing high endy sound, bleeds some of that high end off to naturally sound good. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes they'll use a 500K potentiometer in those types of guitars. It just depends on what you're going for. So what's a 500K potentiometer? It has less resistance, meaning it bleeds less high end to ground. So in the case of a humbucking guitar, that means that more high end is let through. Humbuckers in nature are warmer in sound, therefore have not as much high end. So you wanna let more of the high end come through, which is why you'd use the 500K potentiometer. Now again, that's not a hard and fast rule. It's a common thing that we see amongst most guitars because that's what's pleasing to our ears usually. So all that being said, if you only have one guitar, that's awesome. Grab that guitar, play with your volume and tone knobs. See what kind of tones you can get without even touching your amplifier or without even touching the software in your computer if you're doing the direct route. See what it can do. If you're interested in more, there's so much information on the internet out there. Just go and Google around and you'll find it. I'd encourage those of you that have more than one guitar with maybe two different setups on them, maybe humbuckers and single coils or something along those lines, to really go listen to those two guitars and see what the differences are. Maybe even pop open that back plate and see what kind of pots they have in there. They'll be labeled. It's just all interesting stuff and all of it affects our tone in one way, shape, or form. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope you've gotten something out of it. I hope it's knowledge that you can put to use somewhere in the future. If so, I'd love it if you gave this video a like and if you hit the subscribe button that really helps out this channel for more information head over to www.academyofworship.org we've got stuff over there for you i've even got a free gift for you so go twist some knobs flip some switches and go see what your guitar sounds like and find your sound i'll talk to you in the next one god bless